Hello friends, welcome to my channel Vagpay Media. This is Polumi and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make smooth, dramatic, slow motion using Premiere Pro. So without any further ado, let's straight head over to our computer and see how to do it. Hello friends, I'm on my uh, Adobe Premiere Pro dashboard and in today's tutorial I want to show you how to do um, slow motion by using two different techniques right so first I will take this on my timeline and my stream I, actually I will be taking in two streams because I'll be using two different methods right now uh, first thing that I want to do is I want to slit I want to cut my video into two parts so that I can see the difference so one I have taken this and done it and another video yeah so I'm good to this and return and yeah so now I will have to uh, click on this I button to deactivate one uh, video clip right so i would be seeing only this part this one now what i'll do is i'll go to this effects and from effects if i go to video effects then i'll get time i'll get time here and from time if you are using the newer version of premiere pro you would be getting this time wrap and pixel motion blur effect now on the previous version of Adobe uh, Premiere Pro was only having these two options echo and uh, post rise time these two options were there but now uh, these two new options has been introduced one is pixel motion blur and another is time wrap which we are going to use today right so I'm going to grab this and drag it and put it on my clip and as soon as I do that um, I get the same option the left hand side effect effect controls right here I have got time wrap so uh, in time wrap there are a couple of things which you can change or modify by your need now in the method you see there are three different methods whole frame method frame mix method and pixel motion now by default this software will suggest you to keep in pixel motion but in some cases pixel motion does not give a dramatic smooth uh, effect in speed slow uh, lowering the speed so i would just show you what is the difference so at this moment i'm keeping it in pixel motion and speed is uh, it is okay to keep it in speed and the speed time would be percentage by default would be 50 percent but if you really want to give and bring a super dramatic and super slow smooth motion then your range speed range should be is somewhere in between 10 to 20 25 percent which i suggest but at this moment i would be taking 20 percent to show you now you see how does it look like right So you see the difference with pixel motion uh, it is kind of choppy and you can see the frame to frame movement and it's not at all smooth right now I'll show you if I choose instead frame mix then what is the difference now I have chosen only this frame mix option and the speed is still 20 and the adjustment time speed I'm keeping it speed only so i'll just show you a little better i feel it will give you a little smoother effect right so i have shown you how to do use the time verb option to make a super dramatic slow motion now there is another option which you can explore can make your job even more easy uh, i would like to mention that in the top right hand side i button you will find another video which i have made a couple of weeks back where i've shown how to uh, easily remove the background of any video by using premiere pro so let's watch the rest of the video and then you definitely go to the i button let's go to the second half of this video and see what is that option and how even in an easier way you can do the same job 
of making a slow motion now there is another option now i will click on this i button to close this and i will open this clip right so what i'll do is i'll just right click on the right hand side part and here you'll have to choose speed and duration and there you can simply change the speed to 20 percent and then again the uh, this option time interpolation this one again you can uh, keep it optical flow that's what i suggest there are three options frame sampling frame blending and optical flow now according to me optical flow most often gives the best effect possible when as far as you're slowing down the speed of a video that's what i feel but you can try it out um, with these two options as well so for the time being i will be showing you how does it look if i do this way now you see the difference right here when you're doing at the right hand side like you're right clicking and you're using uh, this option speed and duration and you're straight away changing the speed it has already increased the speed at the same time it has increased the timeline of the the duration of the entire video so according to me uh, in few videos like for this particular video what i personally feel is that speed and duration that right click method works better uh, but in some videos some other videos time warp method works better now it's up to you as a cinematographer or a videographer to understand for which kind of um, technique should be suitable for a particular uh, clip which you're modifying thank you so very much for staying here with me so how was it uh, was it easy difficult let me know in the comment section below and if you like my video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and definitely 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 subscribe to my channel and share it with with your friends and family press the bell button next to the subscription button and select all notifications so that you keep getting notification whenever i make video well i'm making videos on video video editing which happens to be my main segment my main niche of working so if you have any question if you're stuck somewhere you feel free to ask me on the comment section i would be more than happy to give you my answers so with that today this is follow me wrapping up and i will come back with some other topics fun some other fun videos next week till then stay safe stay legendary <laughs>